Bless the Lord, oh my soul, bless it. Hi, thanks for tuning in to Armor of God. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us. And as ever, hopefully you'll be edified with what we've put together for you here. Before I carry on with this video though, I'd like to say thank you so much to all of you who commented on the previous video for your support and prayer. And a lot of you graciously shared your journey in the comments, and I'm sorry I haven't replied to a lot of the comments. And so anyway, for this video on the other hand, I'd like to share something with all of you about Anton LaVey. Now the most obvious question is, who is Anton LaVey? Well, he's the founder of the Satanic Temple. And don't worry, this video is not as dark as the subject suggests. But what I'd like to share with all of you here is his last words at his deathbed. Some of you have probably watched videos about this somewhere else, but still hopefully for those of you who didn't know about this, this can be used as an example for the others you might know, who might be thinking about worshipping the ancient serpent. As I've said before, there are a lot of non-Catholics here, Protestants, Orthodox, and also unbelievers. Interestingly enough, based on my observation reading so many comments every day, among the unbelievers, some are willing to listen while there are also a lot of them who will simply write nonsense in the comments, ridiculing and cursing this and that. I've removed those type of comments whenever I can, but thankfully there are quite a lot of them who were open to proper discussions. Anyway, going back to the subject of this video, regarding Anton's last words, sorry for the rather low quality video, but I've provided the subtitle to what she was saying here in this interview. Hopefully this helps. Apparently this woman was quite close to Anton back in the days. I hope I've presented an accurate information regarding this though, but if you have any extra information regarding the whole thing, please share it in the comments below, and hopefully anyone who comes across your comment will find them helpful. And um, he was on his deathbed, and for a Satanist, at the time of death, it's a great victory for them because death is a, is a, is a huge thing that they celebrate. And he was getting ready to die and pass on his powers and that. And on his deathbed, he must have got some revelation or an angelic um, appearance or something. And he went into shock and he said, oh my. Oh my, done? what have I done? He said, there's something very wrong. There's something very wrong. There's something very wrong. Wow. And his whole life had been spent propagating these satanic beliefs, getting everyone to believe, establishing official organizations for Satanism. And then at the end of his life, he gets this, right. this, wow. this light that comes to him. And everything that he built, he realized was wrong. A few months ago, I shared something from Monsignor Stephen Rossetti, and I hope that anyone who's watching this will always remember this and keep it close to your heart. I've recently heard that some people say, well, Satan loves you, or these particular people uh, Satan loves. I want you to know very clearly that Satan doesn't love you or anyone. Satan is incapable of love. He's a complete malignant narcissist. The only person Satan loves is himself. And he'll burn everyone in hell, which he does, for his own pleasure. He is a sadist. As a matter of fact, in the midst of an exorcism, uh, I had a new uh, staff member with me, and I said, I want you to know what you're dealing with. And so as the, the demons were coming forward, and the possessed person, I said, in Jesus' name, I command you, tell me, if you could, would you stick a knife in the back of everyone present, twist it, and laugh? In Jesus' name, tell the truth. Snarly goes, yes. There is not a drop of, or morsel of compassion or mercy in any demons, especially in the prince of hell and of, of Satan himself. Now, sometimes, though, Satan will disguise himself as an angel of light. Some people say, no, I've, I've met Satan, and, and he was very nice to me. He said he loved me. Nonsense. He will disguise himself, as the Bible says, as an angel of light. But if you cross him, uh, or you don't do what he tells you to, you'll see exactly who and what he is. As one possessed person told me, she said, I've met Satan, you know, I've encountered him, and he is vicious. He is indeed vicious. But, in another case, I remember commanding the demons to tell the truth. I said, tell me the truth, in Jesus' name, you must tell the truth. Does Satan love you? And they said, no. Now, in Jesus' name, tell me the truth. Does Jesus still love you? Yes. Even the demons know that Satan doesn't love them.
He doesn't love you. But Jesus does. Even as sinners, he forgives us and loves us. Never doubt the love of Jesus for us. And never be fooled. Satan is vicious. His heart is full of hatred. He can't love. But Jesus' heart is full of divine love. We know by now that atheism among the people in our society today is growing, and there are also people who find themselves interested with anything related to the devil, witchcraft, and so on. And so what I'd like to do is to bring all of you to the other side of the world, the Philippines regarding the satanic rosaries. Actually, I came across this interview and a few other articles while I was researching about Ant and Lovey, so just because we're on this subject, I'll include this here as well. According to one particular Filipino exorcist in the Philippines, he warned people to be careful about buying rosaries as they can be cursed or infested, and that the Illuminati group did the praying, thus consecrating the object to evil. Therefore, any person who makes use of them will then on be followed by the evil spirits. These fake rosary crucifixes, according to him, have a number of hidden symbols. This includes a snake, and the snake is wrapped around the cross. There is a sun with rays and pentagrams all three of which are favored and apparently the cursed religious iconography is spreading at a rapid pace around the world. Anyway, let me share with you some highlights I've put together from Father Abbott's interview. I hope the subtitle I've provided for this audio is helpful and probably takes a couple of times listening to it in order to understand the message thoroughly. We have uh, come to an experience lately, an experience of what they call the satanic rosaries and crucifixes. Actually, there is nothing satanic that can be found at the beads of the rosaries, but the satanic design can be found at the crucifixes of the rosaries. So they come under many forms, or oh, at the corners of the crucifix, the image of the sun, which is the symbol of Lucifer, and then sometimes the design of snakes, sometimes the design sign of the diamond of the Freemasons, and the other uh, modified designs. And then uh, people began to be aware and uh, so many people surrendered their uh, rosaries with satanic crucifixes and with satanic designs. Now, the, the satanic rosaries are very clever. You see, uh, these Freemasons are the ones spearheading these things, these movements. And as uh, we know very well, the Freemasons uh, recruit men who are professional, who are intelligent, and who are rich because they would need them for their own purposes and schemes. And the ordinary, the common Tao, they cannot reach them. So what I believe uh, the strategy that they use is through these satanic rosaries and satanic medals and satanic objects. And they have gone into the possession, into the houses of, of people, the simple people. Rosaries hanging in front of their doors, rosaries hanging at the mirror, at the mirror of their cars, and rosaries at their pockets and so on. And uh, this is how they tried to get in touch with the common people. And so we have to, to fight them. And to add this a little bit further, these rosaries and crucifixes were made not only to be simply given away, but to deceive the people so that evil spirits will haunt them. There were also infestation cases related to the rosaries that have been confiscated which turned out to be the reason why an evil spirit resided in the room of the respective owners of the rosaries, causing disturbances in their houses. I'm sorry if the subject we're talking about this time focuses too much on the satanic temple, but I hope all of you watching this video have learned a lot from this. The last thing I want is for all of you to be walking away from this video, feeling gloomy and fearful all the time. But it's always good to be extra careful, especially when we buy religious items on the internet these days. 
We never know who's behind selling those items. There are also satanic crucifixes, 10 crucifixes, with these uh, misleading designs, the sun design, the snake design, the, even the uh, metal design of Benedict placed behind the back of the crucified Jesus. But actually, if you take a deep look at it, it is not the medal of Benedict, but it is a kind of a medal, something that would resemble the medal of Saint Benedict. And so I'd like to share this clip from one of my favorite priests, Father Vincent Lampert. I've shared this with all of you before, but still it's a very good story to remember and ponder upon. Is inviting a demon in or cultivating relationships with a demon. There was an elderly man in Indianapolis who had no faith background whatsoever. The family of this elderly man were concerned because they said he's always fostered relationships with demons and we believe he's approaching the end of his life and we're worried what's going to happen to him when he dies. So I went to talk to this man and he told me, he said, I know my family is concerned about me, but they need not be. He said, when I die, it's my desire to spend eternity in hell with Satan and these demons that have become my friends. He goes, those are the ones I want to spend eternity with. He says this and the family looks at me and goes, what do we do? I said, we continue to pray that he has a change of heart. Exorcism prayers cannot be prayed over anyone against their will. And then in Mexico, Father Lopez, a member of the College of Exorcists in Mexico, warned about the risks of the cult of Saint Death, pointing out that those who practice it implicitly or explicitly worship the devil, risking submitting themselves to him and experiencing his extraordinary action. He went on to say that the proliferation of this cult has led to a significant increase in the extraordinary action of the devil, which can include demonic possession. Father Lopez said that Mexican exorcists have confirmed numerous cases of oppression, obsession, and demonic possession linked to the practice and growing spread of the cult of Saint Death. According to him, the cult is a Mexican version of satanic worship and that this cult includes satanic practices that materially and formally constitute apostasy, blasphemy, and sacrilege as well as acts of violence against life and very serious violations of the penal code such as murders, crimes, robberies, and drug trafficking. These very serious sins place those who commit them under the direct control of the devil and with divine permission can easily become occasions for his extraordinary action. More and more people suffer not only from witchcraft in general, but also from curses associated with this cult. Well, and that is all for the video this time. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and hopefully you've learned a lot from this. I'll try to release more videos like this from time to time that include current issues in relation to spiritual warfare so we can be more aware of what's going on around us. In the meantime though, if there's any suggestion or feedback, please do let me know in the comments below. Anyway, for those of you who'd like to support our works, I left a link to our PayPal donation in the description box below, and from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for your continuous support, contribution, and prayer. Well then, until the next one, stay safe, stay healthy, and may God bless you.